Hey guys, what's up? It's Abe and Eric. We are going to check out Dream Alone on the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to check it out. It looks really neat. If you're new to the channel, of course, throw a subscription, like, comment, all that good jazz. So, <clears throat> what I aim to do with some of these videos is check out some of these games that have been on my backlog. I just hadn't had time to properly review, but still give them attention, play them long enough to where we can figure out if they are worth checking out and playing because there's such a huge influx of games on the Nintendo Switch. It's really impossible to be able to play them all, like, you know, and, and catch up. So, doing this, doing a backlog, checking, I, I, I'm already digging the, the dark look. This is kind of like Beetlejuicey looking. I don't know. Look at this. We got dark clouds, Once stuff like this. I'm a sucker for indie land, games that have a good little away. narrative and stuff. So, yeah, look at this. That's like a baby Edgar Allan Poe. Among them there lived a small boy and his family. Look at that. But then the village was hit by a mysterious Very dark and macabre. People, one by one, went into a coma. Everybody's in a coma. Brother, sister, parents. Only the small boy was left alone in despair. Only the small boy then was left alone in despair. Appeared. It was a magical bird, and it told the story about Lady Death, who could stop the disease and even bring people back to life. Alright, so the game got dark really, really quick. The boy left the village, seeking Lady Death. The only one who could help him. Okay. <clears throat> that was interesting. So we're in the dark forest. The forest is dark and there's only one path leading deeper and deeper into the wild. Alright, so this looks like it's a platforming game. So I'm all for the platforms. So let's uh, platform our platforming on the platform. All right, so here we go. Okay, so jump. Very dark game. I'll tell you that much, but I like the effect. I like, uh, uh, oof. So his jumping is a little flowy. Definitely a little flowy. Be careful, this land is full of traps. Every step can be your last. All right, so now I gotta look for traps, even though it's really dark up in here. I think that was a trap right there. Uh, anything that looks weird on the ground, I'm just assuming it's a trap. Okay. All right, so just walking, jump. Oh, oh, that scared me. Well, so yeah, that was kind of hard. I didn't recognize any trap at all. I'm guessing it's if something looks weird on the ground to just uh, jump over it. That's uh, that's some sound advice, right? Like, like right there, that looks weird. This looks weird. That looks weird. That looks weird. Well, nope. I definitely fell into a pit. So it's kind of a little hard to distinguish since everything's black and white, like a Michael Jackson song. It's black. It's white. So I don't know. Damn. Damn. Can I get past the first part without dying? This is the opening, like, sequence. Oh my god. So I will say his jumping is kind of slow. I don't know if it's just... Jump over! Yeah, I don't, I don't, the jumping mechanics, he's really floaty and slow. Uh, let's jump a little bit later. There we go. Alright, so I, I, I definitely do not like the jumping. I mean, it's not horrible, but just... I. Obviously, I'm having trouble playing it, and you guys are watching me play a game for the first time, and I've literally died how many times? I, I really would like to get past the beginning part of this game. Gee golly, wizards. Okay, I'm doing it. Let's do it, guys. And hopefully there's no more of those stupid, cheap traps. So kind of take a look at some stuff okay tick enemy you cannot fight them be careful so we got enemies that we cannot fight big giant ticks that's that is creepy so I guess there's no attacks so that's gonna be one thing 
in addition to avoiding traps is the fact that you can't attack. Look at all these. We got little ticks, big ticks, all sorts of ticks. Okay. It is really hard to see anything in this game. Just because it keeps flashing in and out like that. It's dark. Oh. Really? Please give me a checkpoint. If I gotta jump over that shit again, I'm gonna be... There we go. So now I just gotta watch for falling ticks. Yeah. Oh my god. Really? I, 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 I can tell you this. I've died way too much for a first level of any game. And I don't know. I don't know, man. Level one of games are supposed to be a little bit of a breeze. And I'm not saying it should be easy and handle me. But I think I'm going to blame a little bit of the jumping mechanics on these deaths. And these deaths are actually a little cheap. To be honest. Alright, there we go. There's no way to protect yourself and you float when you jump. Oh, I'm so glad I made that jump. Alright, what's going on here? Do I just fall? Alright. I just fall. Oh my god. How am I supposed to get past all that mess? Look. I don't know. I don't like that you die off of one fucking hit, to be quite honest. I didn't even see that I was going to land on a fucking tick. Can we just jump? Let's jump across. See if maybe I clear. Yeah, look, I just did a leap of faith and jumped across. So, yeah, guys, just, just go for it, right? Connect for it. I, I really want to like this game. I'm still really early in it. I mean, I'm only minutes into the gameplay. But you've seen how much I died. I think that's a little bit much. I don't know if that's because I suck or because it's really dark to see shit on this game. The jumping mechanics are kind of tough. And the deaths are really, really cheap. But I, I will say I love the presentation, first and foremost. The, the presentation, the black and white, the rain, the way the characters look. The blood that splatters on the screen when you die. I'm, I'm really digging that. I, I like that a lot. It, it, it shows a lot of promise. Things like that. But. What are you supposed to do? Oh look. I can climb. I didn't know you could do that. What's this? A big ass group of ticks. See. If you're going to do jumps like that. You need to make your. Characters able to jump a lot fucking easier. That alone is probably the worst thing about this game. Is the jumping and for some reason I ended up at a different screen I gained a power to enter an alternate version of beauty time you spend here is limited so I could enter a nice area that's limited time okay so there's like a different universe that's interesting I'm glad I at least got somewhere something's going on you know Let's, let's check this out. Let's, are these additional powers? Or this is the limited, the beauty time that I can take. Let's go into the beauty area. Pushing rocks now. Look, there's floaty ghosts. Oh, shit. So the rock that I got pushes in this alternate dimension. So there's going to be stuff that's in one area. That's not in the other. And of course, I didn't have enough juice to make that job. Uh, this is definitely a game that you're going to have to take a lot more time playing to, uh, to see if it's worth it. But I can tell you this, just the sheer amount of times that I've died just on level one, uh, I'm losing patience with it. So I can see the average person losing patience with this game as well. Which is why I can already find this game hard 
to recommend. Um, just because it's, I don't want to say because it's insanely difficult, but because it's insanely difficult. Let's push this and let's see if we can get, get somewhere at least, right? Come on. Push that shit any slower. Are now oh, fucking ticks. You know what, guys? <laughs> I I don't have patience to do this, so I don't I don't know. This one's gonna be hard to recommend. I think I've shown enough for you guys to judge if you would like to continue this further. Me, I'm over it. This game does have potential. It had promise. Maybe I'll come back to it later. Um, yeah, this is Dream Alone. I'm, I'm gonna leave this game alone for sure. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just I have zero patience for games that just kill you endlessly like that over cheap stuff. So yeah, I, I don't know. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, all that good jazz. I'll see you next time. Peace out.